see those, they're called mobile apps, and you spend time using them to avoid taking care of your actual responsibilities. You know damn well they're bad for you, but you would still rather get those five seconds of dopamine than actually do something constructive. I know that it seems like there's no solution, but there was once a prophecy which spoke of a cure for doom scrolling, a way to solve the spreading virus of mobile app addiction. You can only fight fire with fire. A new mobile app is about to rise from its ashes, but only for Android because iOS is too hard code, and finally put an end to this global problem and so on and so forth. Is that a good intro? Anyway, today we're building the app that deletes other apps. I have a general idea of what the app should be, but I think that we need a clear plan of how we're gonna proceed. First, I was thinking that we just delete the app with the most screen time from the respective users, but that sounds pretty boring. And I think that the chances of someone installing an app like that are slimmer than my forearms. Jesus Christ, I swear I'm not a child. But after spending an entire night on TikTok and watching a shit ton of gambling related videos, it suddenly hit me. People like the unexpected. They like being surprised. They like the unknown. And also, randomness allows people to bet money, but that's besides the point. We're gonna make the user spin a wheel of apps, and whatever app it lands on gets deleted. I can only hope that people don't use this app for actual gambling. Wink wink. Every app is built with a specific set of tools, and those tools are handpicked by the developers in regard to different criteria and requirements. Now, since we want to make the best app, it makes sense that we would need the best tools. And while I am good at other things, I'm not that good at software development. That's why I brought here an expert in this field. Someone I met like two years ago, and someone who I actually consider a friend. Uh, where do we design the app? Figma, interesting. What do we use for the front end? Okay, we'll look like a server. And we'll definitely need some sort of database. Anything else? Okay, got it. Now, luckily for me, these tools happen to be exactly the ones I excel at. I have no idea how that happened. Uh huh. We'll make it red, blood red, very, very scary. Be very careful how you proceed. There's no going back. Oop, and we're back to normal. I would like to keep track of what the users lost because I thought that it would be cool to have a board of globally deleted apps. That's why I'm making them create an account. Hey, there's the wheel. Also, as a side note, stop agreeing to everything you see on the internet without even reading. You never know what might... You know what? Actually, let's read them right now. Together. Come on. Number one, account creation and access. To use our app, you must create an account by providing a username, email address, password, this information is required to track your domain. Ah, let's not. This video is already boring enough. Is this a good time to mention I'm not good at graphic design? The coding is usually the hardest part for beginners, but I have an ace in my sleeve, which is that I watched every Mr. Boronir coding livestream. The fuck, man? Your computer science degree is not worth half as much as the knowledge I accumulated during his livestreams. Like, I see what I'm supposed to do, I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to do it. But I gotta be honest, coding is pretty hard for me too. That's why every time I start a coding session, I always have my A Way Out free card next to me, 
in case anything gets too intense. Oh wait, yeah, just give me a second guys. It seems like I'm getting an error. Ah, hold on. Just give me a second. Uh, um, uh. A while ago, I got an error. One that I was not able to solve for a very, very long time. In my youth, I had the ability to solve any error, but not anymore. Come on, maybe this? Like this? Or this? Like this? Oh, I got it. This? This? Like this? Maybe this? Come on, React Native. It was very funny the first day, and the second day. But can I please get my shit back? Can you imagine how proud I was of myself? Going to sleep at the end of every day, knowing I didn't accomplish jack shit. It got so bad, I started listening to Frank Ocean. I stepped away from the computer for a bit, went on a couple of runs, exercised, I started doing things I actually loved. I realized that I had lived my life wrong this whole time. Maybe this is the push I needed. You know what? Thank you, React Gods. You made me realize that- Oh wait, the air is gone! I'm also finishing up the server this app is going to be connected to and I'm using Heroku to host it in case anyone gives a shit making sure everything looks and works fine I really wish I could go into more technical explanation but I'm aware that most people don't care they are not computer nerds like me and your mother's other boyfriend I also knew that this project would take quite a while so I made sure to take my computer with me everywhere and every time I could The app looks and feels fine on an emulator, but what I want to know is how it is on a real device. <laughs> yeah, obviously you can't just make an app that deletes other apps from a user's phone and publish it. Device manufacturers purposefully add a safety feature to combat that. Can you imagine how easy it would be to install malware labeled as a social media app for example? And yeah, I did trick you, but at the very least, it is something interesting to think about. How much money we spend on devices we don't even have full access over. Think about that when you go to sleep tonight, while I listen to my Frank Ocean. I'm aware that throughout this video, I painted a very somber and bleak picture of virtual technology in general. But I wouldn't say it's bad altogether. I actually think that it has done more good than harm. Just make sure it doesn't get in the way of your real life. Remember what actually matters, who actually matters, and remember that, no, there's no need for that. I'm not trying to make you feel sad. I just want to say that this fake life that you create for yourself by watching funny videos that make you smile for half a second can actually become your real life if you just give it a shot. So get up, step away from the keyboard, and go live your actual life. But before you do that, can you like, uh, click on the subscribe button and maybe the like one it really means so 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 much to me if you would just click if you just click on that on